This is George from High Tech Legion. When you're putting a new build together, there's a couple of different ways of going about it. Uh, one school of thought is to just simply buy the best of the best of the best, uh, regardless of cost and regardless of your actual usage. Obviously, it's not a very prudent use of your money, uh, nor is it necessarily going to yield the best results for what you're particularly trying to do. The other school of thought is to look for a balance in components for what you're looking to do and have it excel at what you're looking to do. Um, that goes for cooling as well. When you're looking to cool your system, you're really looking for a specific balance of three things. Performance, price, and noise. You want the best performance for what you're looking to do. If you're not looking at a heavy duty overclock, you don't need a giant cooler. Uh, you want obviously the most performance you can get for the price. You don't want to overpay for it and you want it to do it quietly. Nobody wants a loud system that's going to sound like a vacuum cleaner. Uh, today, uh, today we're going to take a look at the Shadow Rock 2 from Be Quiet, which falls right into the middle of the mainstream category with a retail price of $49.90 uh, and is a beautifully crafted piece that actually brings with it uh, quite a bit of what we're seeing in the highest end coolers these days. So looking at the Shadow Rock 2, first thing, Be Quiet always does a beautiful job with packaging. As you can see, typical all black with the Be Quiet logo. Nice picture of the Shadow Rock 2 itself. A uh, couple of brief explanations on the sides in many, many different languages. Areas of application for gaming systems, multimedia, uh, exceptionally high cooling efficiency. Uh, very quiet operation, thanks to specially designed Be Quiet fan and product uh, conception design and quality control in Germany with a three-year warranty. Going over the back, a couple of quick specs that we do want to take a look at. Stands 160 millimeters tall. It does weigh in at uh, 1,120 grams, so it is a pretty weighty cooler, especially for a mid-class cooler. Even uh, for a high-end cooler, that is quite a bit of weight. That's going to be thanks to four 8 millimeter heat pipes and a very, very solid construction. Uh, as I say, 120 millimeter specially designed fan. Be quiet, very well known for their fans, having excellent performance as well as being extremely quiet. Uh, this is a 1600 RPM fan, which produces 24.9 db uh, with a cfm of 51 and um, one of the nice things about this being static pressure is actually very high at 1.4 for a fan with these types of specs now let's take a look at the shadow rock 2 obviously very very good looking piece very interesting looking piece first thing that stands out well besides the fact that it's completely square up top is you've got a brushed aluminum look top plate with the Be Quiet logo, really nice looking tops on the heat pipes themselves. You've got the Be Quiet fan on the front held on with fan clips as you can see. Let's pop them off. And get a look at fan. Like I say, 120 millimeter fan, especially Be Quiet design. As you can see, you've got all the cut-ins in the blades for uh, additional turbulence, for better airflow and less noise. Uh, Be Quiet fans run exceptionally strong with uh, exceptionally quiet operation. So moving on to the tower itself. As I say, really, really interesting piece. As you can see, completely symmetrical all four sides. You've got cut-ins in the fins for added turbulence. It's gonna cut down on noise as well as aid in heat dissipation. Very nice use of the four eight millimeter heat pipes. As you can see, really big, chunky heat pipes. Really good looking. Very, very nice looking contact plate on the bottom. As you can see, mirror finish on the contact plate, all copper with a nickel finish. Absolutely beautiful job by Be Quiet once again. Uh, one of the things about Be Quiet is they always have absolutely pristine presentation and their products look as nice as, uh, they, as well as they perform. Um, just really, they look like top end pieces and the Shadow Rock 2 is absolutely no exception. It's a very exceptional looking piece. Now going back to the symmetry we were talking about, as you see, you'll notice you've got the cut-ins for the fan clips on every corner. This allows you to mount the fan in any direction you like. Obviously you're going to want to mount it in your case with the Be Quiet logo 
facing right side up, or maybe you don't. Whatever side you want to mount it, you can mount the fan anywhere you like, as far as any side you like. Bottom, side, top, back side, and obviously it's going to be dual fan capable. However, it does not come with a second set of fan clips. That would have to be purchased separately, or you could fashion something of your own. In terms of accessories, the uh, Shatterrock 2 comes with uh, basically the installation manual and mounting kit. Uh, installation manual, very well laid out, um, fairly well illustrated, uh, does get a little confusing. You do need to follow it step by step and it does jump around a tiny bit, but read through it fully first and you should have absolutely no problems. Separate instructions for LGA 2011, uh, 1155, 1156, 1150, 1366, 775, then socket AM2, AM3, FM1, FM2, and as well as socket 754, 939, and 940 for AMD. Moving on, simple mounting kit, uh, one size fits all backplate, which actually is one of the nicer ones we've ever worked with. Uh, as you can see, it's very, very well padded not just uh, simply a little film of plastic, you actually have some good padding to work with, uh, so you do get very good isolation. A small tube thermal interface material. The tool you will require, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver as well, but you also need a wrench. Wrench is included. Intel mounting brackets, AMD mounting brackets, and screw assortment for putting it into the uh, various sockets. The Shatterrock 2 uses the same mounting kit we've seen before in the Shatterrock top flow, as well as the uh, larger do uh, Dark Rock Pro 2. Uh, very easy mounting kit to work with. First, we're going to start outside of the case itself. You've got your mounting clips, uh, whether you're using Intel, which we're going to be using here, or you're going to be using AMD. All principles are going to be the same. Uh, first thing you'll notice, uh, I've gone ahead and installed three of the um, mounting points for the kit to install. Go down to the bottom, you'll see it's indented. You've got three slots, four different sockets. Choose the correct slot for the socket you're going to be using, in this case an LGA 1150. Uh, put the bolt right on through, and on the other end, nut will attach. Right into place, and use the included wrench just to give it a little snug and you're all into place. So you've got your four mounting points onto the uh, brackets. And as you can see, they are hollow, they're threaded on the inside. We're actually gonna be going through the back of the motherboard and screwing into these as the tie down point. Next, we're gonna have to put these onto the Shatterrock 2 itself, the appropriate, as I say, Intel or AMD. Uh, very simple, two screws through here, two screws through there. Make sure you're putting them on right. You want the mounting points sloped down away from the cooler itself. Now I'm not going to take off the plastic just as of quite yet, so we'll get that into place. And as I say, two screws on each side and you've got all four mounting points in place. And with the four screws tightened down, as you can see, you've got your mounting points on the retention brackets all set up. The other thing I've done, I've gone ahead and reinstalled the fan onto the uh, tower itself. One of the really nice things about this kit, and actually a very odd thing about this kit, is you never actually have to remove the fan in order to install the cooler. Um, it comes with the fan attached in the box, and you actually never have to take it off. Kind of cool because you don't have to worry about fumbling with uh, the fan clips inside of the case, especially if you're tight on room up at, uh, up at the top. Next, we're going to head around the back of the motherboard, put the back plate into place, and as you can see, once again, one size fits all back plate, has screw holes for every conceivable socket. Put your screw into the correct socket and right through the back plate. Uh, you'll notice it is notched for Intel sockets for the screws. So make sure you've got that on right. And you'll put all, all four screws into place. And your back plate is in. Looking at it from the front side, you can see the four screws coming through the motherboard. So next we're going to take four small black plastic clips. As you see here, the screws themselves are notched and the clip will pop right over the notch 
and hold the screw into place while you're working, still allowing it to turn. So with everything in place, I've gone ahead and applied the thermal interface material. Now we're going to mount the tower. Uh, general principle, and it can be a little bit tricky to line up. Four screws, and four bolt or uh, four nuts, I should say. You're going to need to line it up and screw in from the back. Screw the uh, screws into the nuts on the front. I often find the easiest if you can get the first one lined up. by eyesight and get it started, you can then move on from there. And we've got our first screw started. And once you get the second lined up, obviously the third and fourth go very, very easily. And when you put them in, you're going to want to screw uh, the back until it stops. But obviously, you're going to want to screw all four in just a little bit and use a cross pattern to tighten it up entirely. So finally, with it tightened down, as you can see, uh, the Shadow Rock 2 is a very, very nice looking cooler in the case. I mean, fantastic looking with the brushed aluminum finish, the end caps, uh, Be Quiet logo. Really great looking. It does block all four RAM slots. Make no mistake on that. Um, if you were to... Uh, Take the fan, move it to the bottom. You do actually have plenty of room between the um, GPU first slot and the cooler itself. You can move it up top to the back. That will free up the second, third, and fourth RAM slots. It's going to block the first RAM slot no matter what you do. The actual physical uh, tower does overhang. However, with standard size RAM, I mean, it's not a problem. As you can see, uh, it's not like the fan's touching the RAM, and the fan can move out if you uh, need be. Uh, even with a shorter um, heatsink on your RAM, you can move the fan up just a tiny bit. But, you know, as it sits right here, like I say, standard height RAM, not a problem in all four slots. Very, very good looking cooler in the case. So, now that we see how it looks and how easily it installed, let's take a look at uh, how well it performs. So looking at the performance of the uh, Shadow Rock 2, there's obviously nothing to complain about there. It did very, very well in our tests. Uh, actually, uh, quite a bit better than I expected it to. Yes, it does lose a few degrees to the Fantex uh, 12DX, but that was to be expected. The 12DX is a dual fan right out of the box. Uh, not only that, you've got a situation that the 12DX is a lot louder than the Shadow Rock 2. Uh, like I say, you're looking for a balance of performance, noise, cost. And the Shadow Rock 2 definitely delivers a great balance right there. Um, the Shadow Rock 2, like I say, handled the 4.4 GHz on the Haswell, the 4770K, really without a problem, keeping it, you know, right around 78 degrees. Uh, it did this, you know, against the Mugen 3, did a little bit better than that, did uh, better than the Hyper 612, which was obviously much, much louder, uh, the Fantex was louder, it was definitely the quietest cooler in our test, and overall very, very quiet. Um, in all respects. At idle and uh, under load when um, we were at stock speeds, the Shadow Rock 2 was absolutely dead silent within the case. Really a nice change there. So overall, I mean, you've got the price performance and noise balance that, you know, ideally you're going to be looking for. You're going to be able to get a really nice overclock even on something that runs as hot as a Haswell without too much of a problem. I mean, for a 4990 cooler, the Shadow Rock 2 is a phenomenal buy. Uh, you do have a couple of little quirks that I really wasn't happy with. I mean, obviously, um, the installation itself is a little bit different. It's a little bit quirky. Um, the quality of the screws that are used uh, through the motherboard are, is a little bit suspect. And the one thing, though, that really kind of bothers me, there's no second fan clip um, to go into a push-pull. And it's a natural for a push-pull type setup. Just, you know, with the huge fin array that you've got, adding that second fan would probably just do wonders. I tried mashing up a couple. I couldn't find anything that worked. But that would definitely be something I'd like to see in the future. But overall, I'm going to give the Shadow Rock 2 a gold award. Um, like I say, rock-solid cooling, fantastic balance of price, performance, and noise. 
um, insulation itself, not too difficult, a little bit quirky, like I say, and you know, just very, very quiet. Really solid construction and just a beautiful piece overall. Uh, Be Quiet, once again, just you know, delivers what is an absolutely solid piece.